Professor Raoul Mulder is working with an icon of fidelity, the stately black swan. Swans have this potent role in mythology and in history as, as symbols of fidelity. So I guess we, we assume that they are perfectly faithful to each other. In one way, swans are very much like us. They are socially monogamous. They pair bond for life. Pair bonding in swans means that the male and the female are foraging together, swimming together, fighting together for pretty much their whole lifetime. Studying non-paternity in animals is comparatively easy. Keep the gap closed. In many species, the rules of the mating game are clearer, thanks to modern genetic testing. We want to collect blood so that we can get DNA and we can measure paternity in the population. Raoul Mulder wanted to know if female swans were producing offspring with males outside their pair bond. 46.3. His team tested 400 adults and over 500 offspring. The result? One in six offspring were from different fathers. Genetic technology has completely flipped our assumptions about mating systems in birds. And we've gone from thinking that 90% of birds that form pairs are monogamous, to now understanding that probably less than 10% of birds are genetically monogamous. <laughs> 